In this introductory tutorial series by NPHT Technology, viewers will learn how to code hand motion recognition using Python. The tutorial covers the fundamental steps of hand motion recognition, including hand detection, hand tracking, and gesture recognition. The tutorial emphasizes the use of Python and the OpenCV library, a powerful tool for image and video processing. Throughout the series, viewers will be guided through various techniques such as image segmentation, optical flow, and machine learning algorithms for gesture recognition. By the end of the tutorial, viewers will have the skills and knowledge to create their own hand motion recognition projects. The tutorial encourages viewers to engage with the NPHT technology community and offers additional resources for further learning. Introduction to Hand Gesture Recognition in Python Hand gesture recognition is an exciting field of computer vision that enables machines to interpret and understand human hand movements and gestures. By developing algorithms and applications for hand gesture recognition, we can create interactive interfaces, virtual reality experiences, sign language translation systems, and more. Python, with its extensive libraries such as OpenCV and Scikit-Learn, provides a powerful platform for developing hand gesture recognition systems. To get started with coding for hand gesture recognition in Python, there are a few key steps involved. Setting up the environment, ensure that you have Python installed on your system, preferably a recent version, example, Python 3.x. Install the necessary libraries for computer vision and machine learning, such as OpenCV, Scikit-Learn, and TensorFlow or Keras. Data collection, hand gesture recognition typically requires a data set of hand gesture samples. You can either find pre-existing data sets or collect your own. Using a webcam or a video recording device, capture a variety of hand gestures from different angles, lighting conditions, and backgrounds. Label each gesture with the corresponding class or category. Data preprocessing. Prepare the collected data set by preprocessing the images or videos. This step may involve resizing, cropping, converting to grayscale, or applying filters to enhance the quality and consistency of the data. Additionally, you might need to normalize the data or perform other transformations for machine learning algorithms. Feature extraction, extracting meaningful features from the hand gesture images is crucial for building an accurate recognition model. Commonly used techniques include edge detection, contour analysis, hand shape recognition, and motion analysis. OpenCV provides various tools and functions to extract features from images and videos. Model training, select an appropriate machine learning or deep learning algorithm to train a hand gesture recognition model. For traditional machine learning approaches, Scikit-Learn offers classifiers such as Support Vector Machines, SVM, Random Forests, or K-Nearest Neighbors, KNN. Alternatively, deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or Keras can be used to build and train convolutional neural networks, CNN, for more complex recognition tasks. Model training, select an appropriate machine learning or deep learning algorithm to train a hand gesture recognition model. For traditional machine learning approaches, Scikit-Learn offers classifiers such as support vector machines, SVM, random forests, or K-nearest neighbors, KNN. Alternatively, deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or Keras can be used to build and train convolutional neural networks, CNN, for more complex recognition tasks.
Real-time gesture recognition, once the model is trained and evaluated, integrated into a real-time application. Utilize a webcam or other video input to capture live hand gestures. Apply the trained model to classify and recognize the gestures in real-time. OpenCV can be employed to process and analyze video frames, detect hands, and feed them into the Real-time gesture recognition, once the model is trained and evaluated, integrated into a real-time application. Utilize a webcam or other video input to capture live hand gestures. Apply the trained model to classify and recognize the gestures in real-time. OpenCV can be employed to process and analyze video frames, detect hands, and feed them into the recognition model for inference. The provided code demonstrates hand tracking using OpenCV and MediaPipe libraries. The program begins by importing the necessary libraries, namely CV2 for OpenCV and MediaPipe as MP for MediaPipe. It then defines a function called main, which serves as the entry point for the program. Inside the main function, a video capture object cap is initialized to capture frames from the default webcam index 0. Following that, the MediaPipe hands module is loaded by importing MP underscore hands and creating an instance of the hands class named hands. The code enters a while loop that iteratively reads frames from the webcam using cap.read. The ret variable indicates whether the frame was successfully read, while the actual frame is stored in the frame variable. To ensure compatibility with MediaPipe, the frame is converted from the default BGR color space to RGB using CV2.CVT color resulting in the frame underscore RGB variable. Next, the hands.process function is called with frame underscore RGB as input to detect hands in the frame. The results of the hand detection process are stored in the results variable. The code then checks if there are multiple hand landmarks detected in the frame using results.multi underscore hand underscore landmarks. If so, it iterates through each detected hand inside the hand iteration loop. The code further iterates through each individual landmark of the hand using enumerate hand underscore landmarks dot landmark. The index of the landmark is stored in the IDX variable, while the LM variable represents the landmark itself. The frame with overlaid landmarks is displayed in a window titled hand tracking using cv2.imshow. To exit the program, the code checks if the Q key is pressed by using cv2.wait key 1 0 xff equals equals ord q. If this condition is satisfied, the loop is broken and the program proceeds to release the video capture object using cap.release and close all OpenCV windows with cv2.destroyall windows. Finally, the program checks if it is being run directly as the main script using the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore condition. If so, it calls the main function to start the hand tracking process. In summary, this code utilizes OpenCV and MediaPipe to perform real time hand tracking using a webcam. It processes each frame, detects hand landmarks, and visualizes them by drawing circles on the image. The program continuously updates the displayed frame until the Q key is pressed to exit. After watching all the videos on the NPHT Technology channel, the viewer is filled with awe and wonder. The channel has become their go-to source for the latest technological advancements, showcasing groundbreaking innovations in various fields. The viewer is particularly impressed by the passion and dedication of the NPHT team, who educate and inspire their audience while fostering a sense of community. The videos have sparked a renewed sense of purpose in the viewer motivating them to contribute to the advancement of society and the responsible development of technology. They eagerly await the next video from NPHT, excited to continue their journey of exploration and inspiration.